reviews for her starring role as Kevin Costner's love interest in the hit movie Dances with Wolves. Here she is. I am mourning. She's in mourning for her... Ex-husband. Ex-husband. Her, well, her former husband, husband who died, yeah. 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 Not a bad way to mourn, but uh -huh. <laughs> in any event, here's Mary McDonald. <laughs> We love this movie. We lived with you for three hours last night, you yeah. know, and then to see you this morning is, uh, mm. is really something. Anyway, wonderful job and congratulations. Thank you, Thank you very I've much. I've got so many questions to ask us, I'm sure you, yeah. you do too. How long did it take you to make this movie? It was uh, about six months. I was actually on the set for four, but I think a total of six the months. The set being South Dakota? South Dakota, what a yeah. Set. He Wasn't shot marvelous. everything in South Dakota? Everything. Even the interiors of the, everything. Of the teepee? Everything. everything. It was, yeah. it's, it's breathtakingly gorgeous. It is. Yeah. And, and not a telephone pole in sight. I don't yeah. know how they do that. Yeah, right. Think. Those vistas were great. Now, Mary, mm -hmm. how does a guy become, you know, a director, like, overnight? I don't know. I think it's really quite a phenomenon. Uh, Kevin was so committed to this story. It was a, a, a total event for him, and, I, and completely emotionally committed to telling it. And I think that he just took on complete responsibility for it without doubting himself. And he was so courageous to do that. And put up a good portion of his salary when mm -hmm. the money was a little bit scarce, right? Mm -hmm. Not yeah. only that, also insisted when, the, I guess, the studio that was underwriting a lot of it wanted it to be done in English, mm -hmm. didn't want it to be that long, that's and he right. insisted on all those things. That's right. And that's what made it so special. Absolutely. Using you the really official Sioux language for exactly. that? Yeah. Lakota. Lakota. Yeah, Lakota. 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 Well, you couldn't really tell the truthful story about these wonderful people without using the language. But that meant known that the actors would have to learn all mm -hmm. of their dialogue. Lines. Yeah, the dialogue. Right, yes, which you, you did. did. Yes. How long did that take? Well, it took, uh, when I was first given the role, they sent me a tape and I was able to sit and listen to the sounds and kind of absorb the new the sounds. Nuance, okay. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. And then we were in South Dakota and we started a three-week rehearsal period for all the, the major characters, there were about ten of us. And every morning we worked for a few hours with Doris Leader Charge. Just on the dialogue. Just on the dialogue, learning our lines in Lakota. Now, Mary, uh, the Indian actors were phenomenal. Mm. Oh, were I know, they fantastic. from South Dakota or? They were from actually all over uh, the United States and Canada. The, the lead actors were, are from all over the country. Were they Sioux in their origin or are they different, different tribes? Of different Indian? tribes. Uh -huh. uh, but the main bulk of the, the tribe in the movie, the extras, uh, the people who work day in and day out, the fabric of yeah. this marvelous story were all uh, Sue Lakota. Yeah. They seem extremely happy with the outcome of this mm -hmm. movie. I think so, yes. Yeah. Yeah. You really see it from the, the <clears throat> Sioux perspective. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we, we all grew up on Westerns where we were taught to hate the, the Indians. They were the bad guys. Yes. And we'd see the cavalry charging and we thought, oh, good. Then it's right. the exact opposite right. emotion you feel in this movie. You see the cavalry coming and you're terrified for these beautiful people. Exactly. And I think that's just so much of what's so beautiful about this is finally to allow the truth of, of what happened to these people. Now, how did you get this role? Because you're a relatively new name in, in movies, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, my agent, Perry Kipperman, and the casting woman, Elizabeth Lustig, spoke to each other, and uh, Elizabeth introduced me to Kevin, and I had an audition with him, and about a week later, got the part. He knew right away you were the one, huh? I guess so. Oh, he has a wonderful quote. Did you hear what he said? What did he say? He said, I saw a lot of girls, but I wanted a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Is that fabulous? But yeah. wasn't it Susan Sarandon who also Susan had Susan Sarandon as well, yes. Um, Kevin spoke to her, I think, during, during that Durham. time, during the time uh, that I was auditioning. And he had mentioned that he'd seen me. He'd met this actress, Mary McDonald, and Susan recommended me to him. So, that so you went out there with, you have a, a, a baby, a child? Yes, a child, Olivia. She's How three, old is Olivia? She's three, three years old, yeah. and she went out there and spent the entire time with She was you. there the whole time. What an education nanny. for her. Oh, it was wonderful. I remember one time we went to a... Uh, a powwow on the Rosebud Reservation. And this is an Indian celebration. Everyone's dancing in beautiful outfits, hundreds of Indians. And we were there for hours. And for weeks afterward, she walked around Indian dancing yeah. mm -hmm. in, in the hotel. And she still now ask you, <laughs> Mommy, where are the Indians? Yes, she mm -hmm. does. She's constantly asking about them. Yeah. Another question. Uh, Kostner, as the direct, uh, directing mm -hmm. himself yeah. as an actor, you know right. what I mean, especially in the love scenes. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Did he have to, he had to talk to you, right, well, as a director, until you had to handle yeah. him as an actor? Most of the time, um, during those romantic moments, he, we didn't discuss much. But I remember there was one time when we were in, in an embrace, and my face was towards the camera, and he whispered a direction into my ear, <laughs> and I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> and not in love. 
Lakota. We kind of lost the moment and had to do it again. Yeah. There, were, there were some. I hate it when people moments. try to direct yeah. those love scenes. Yeah. <laughs> I've been trying to do that for years. <laughs> I've been whispering things. Nothing happens here. Right. <laughs> All I get is what? <laughs> but it, but really, it's a wonderful. Well, Mary, job. you were into it, right? Yes, you were. You were. Into it. Well, it was it was a really wonderful experience. The whole thing. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, I can't tell you how lucky I feel to have been a part of this story. Mm. Absolutely, it's beautiful. Well, let's so. take a look at another. We just saw the scene of you okay. and, and Kevin in the, in the water. You know, you were yes. mourning your husband. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here's another scene now where uh, you attempt to interpret. Mm -hmm. And she does a lot of interpreting because she is a, uh, uh, a white girl who was either kidnapped or abducted or no, taken. No, actually, I was rescued, rescued. by this tribe I because the a Pawnee. Another, uh, the Pawnee. The Pawnee murdered your family. Yeah. My family. Right. And this particular tribe the found me. Took you. And basically and saved you. my life. Kicking yes. bird raised you, right? Kicking so birds. that she has some remembrances of the English language. But I love your pauses in there as you're translating for mm -hmm. him and for the Sioux. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? You pause, you look up a couple of times. Well, it, the memory is very deep, and it's a long time ago, and right. there's a lot of trauma and around it remembering like it. it. Yeah, oh, thank you. But did I understand when I read the, uh, the credits at the end of the movie that the little girl who plays you... As Kevin's daughter. Kevin's and daughter, and she's so is beautiful. That right? She's fantastic. Yeah, I watched yeah. the wow. credits after I go, that's got to be her. I little. always watch the credits too, and I miss that. That's yeah. terrific. Yeah, Danny she's Cossie. a great little oh, little girl. Wonderful. All right, let's take a look at this clip right now. Here you are attempting to interpret for an introductory conversation between Kevin Costner and his new Indian friend. One of the first times they meet, mm -hmm. right? Here he is. Is he chief? No. Sakiyahu. Uh, 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 A holy man. I'm John Dunbar. John, John Dunbar. 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 John Dunbar. John Dunbar. Dunbar. No, not Dunbar. 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 Dun, Dunbar. Dun, not Dunbar. 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 And that's how it begins. Now, your next project uh, takes you back to the prairie, right? Mm -hmm. What's coming up next? Uh, last year, my husband and I actually together performed uh, an adaptation of Willa Cather's O Pioneers at the Huntington Theater, and it was uh, filmed for American Playhouse. Mm -hmm. So that's another moment on the prairie. Got to get you into the 20th century yeah, sooner or later. High right? heels one of these days. <laughs> yeah, no, and exactly. a dress look at <laughs> What will I do? Mary, congratulations. <laughs> Thank and thanks so much, so much for coming by. <laughs> if you would like to.